<laughs> and uh, so, for the audience of this, what you missed was me stabbing three people in a row, uh, getting caught by several townsmen, uh, having a couple of bounty hunters decide that my ass was worth the trouble now. <laughs> this is like the opening up to like the Benny Hill running. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck happened here? I think they're, they're a fair way off. How do they still see me? I don't know. I think there are just... only two of them. I reckon I can take I... them. Where are? are there's my sword and dagger. Yeah, it's only two bounty hunters. You're just gonna go. It's for the final showdown. You versus the bounty. Final countdown. Are you ready to rumble, boys? Because Shane Cormac is ready to fight you to the death, matey. Yarg. Oh, oh shit. okay. Yeah, to the death, my. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, to the death's very life. That worked out just about as well as I expected. <laughs> you lasted longer in this mindset uh, than I thought you would. Yeah, no, I'm gonna really knuckle down into that mindset for the next run through. Unless you wanna play. Uh, I'll try. Sure, I'll go through the story mode this time. <laughs> I call that pussy. Yeah, we'll quiet you. Coward mode. Quiet you. Never. <laughs> Alright, now where is like the... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna see... Uh, where's the uh, synchronization point? Uh, <coughs> here we go. And it's in the restricted area. God damn. <laughs> damn it, I have to go... <laughs> it's like slap bang in the center. I really You're don't... gonna last less time than I have. I really don't want to do this mindset, but shit. I really think I am not going to last very long. Uh, but it's been a while since I've played this since he... Oh, hey, hey guys, how's it going? Smash cut to bleached white skeleton. Hey there. Uh, 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 shit. Yeah, go up, he's totally not allotted, right? Hey buddy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hi, buddy? friend. Hey, boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord. He, did he start falling and then grab <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sparta, motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, that was like some straight up, uh... That was straight like, up ninja bullshit there. <laughs> no, I was like, is that dude gonna go goofy? Like, yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wish you'd fallen off. Why did it stop you falling off? <laughs> because... They God. didn't do that in the first or second Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you were a dumbass, you just fell off. Alright, now where... Uh, what is that one? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I've got to destroy something. I didn't realize. Yeah. Alright, let me do the... Do it, let it destroy you. Ho, ho, ho. I think there are guards in there. Yeah, I think so too. Uh... First, can I hide and whistle? Hey, how's it going, guys? You wanna come out? You wanna come out, dude? You wanna come out? You wanna come out? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit! They just immediately spotted you. Oh, Jesus! Oh god, no! No! I just had a dog. I, I think it is a dog. Hey, buddy. How do you feel about me hurting your friend? Not good, I hope. <laughs> alright, alright. Cool. Still going to plan. Alright, okay, cool. Right on. Alright. Alright, I am going to run. Yeah. That wasn't that was an awful lot of explosive substance. Hey guys. I, I like the idea of all these Templars or assassins just being like. Did that guy was that guy just like? Was that guy just like an assassin? Why? Why is he running for? Oh shit! Hey, buddy. Woo! Bye, buddy. <coughs> yeah, I think by this point we are just doing like running the video game, <laughs> being the game. But I mean, th th that's basically been the the staple of Assassin's Creed since all the guard runs in the first Assassin's Creed. Uh, I guess so. I actually have Although I'm, I'm gonna change, I haven't had as much fun with running from guards since God. either the first or the second one for me. Ow, I just like crunched yeah. right in there. 
Either the first or the second Assassin's Creed to me had the best, like, fleeing from guards mechanic. <laughs> um, I, actually I mean, had... the first one, it was, it was actually almost, like, rough trying to run from those guards sometimes. And the second one is, oh, you've, you, you've, heard, you've heard my story that ended with me fleeing from, like, 20 guards rowing oh, a gondola away really yeah. through rocks at uh, yeah, me. Tell, tell them the story, tell them the story, tell the people the story. Well, I mean, it's going to be less interesting than actually watching it, but it was in Assassin's Creed 2 in a mission where you got to go and you got to kill someone who's in this big, uh, churchy-looking place, um, which probably doesn't narrow down much in Assassin's Creed 2. Um, and, uh, in the end of it, you're supposed to, like, you know, leave and become anonymous. When I was trying to leave and become anonymous, I hit the wrong button, uh, jumped off a ledge, landed in the middle of about a group of about five or six cards, and after another couple of fairly decent fuck-ups, I ended up trailing 20, it was definitely at least 20, I think it was closer to 25 guards behind me, and I tried to run into, um, I tried to run and jump into the river so that I could go underwater, I could go around a corner and they wouldn't be able to see me. But, uh, when I tried to jump off of this pier into the river, I hit a gondola, and because I was trying to let go of it, I kept hitting, I kept hitting the wrong button, and actually grabbed onto the oar, and so I started leisurely <laughs> rowing a gondola away from these guards who were throwing rocks, and let me tell you, it is actually pretty unsettling when you realize that the guard's rocks go in a straight line, they don't have drop-off. So a guard can throw it from 50 meters away and it will go past you and keep going in a dead straight line <laughs> like he shot it out of a gun. Yep. Alright, All right. I, have... Hmm? I have found... <clears throat> I have found my target. You found your target? Le French Captain. <laughs> Are you just casually strolling? Okay. One more casual stroll, I see. Yeah! Decoy, 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 decoy. Oh. Nope. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? I, Is good. that our dead boss? <laughs> no. Nah, must just be the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wind just got this dead boss. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> That's called a gunman, son. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just gonna hide in here. Yeah, that ain't gonna end. <laughs> that ain't going too well for you. Okay, bye. Wow! What the hell did you just do to him? I don't know! That was amazing! like you just like electro punched him. He probably did. You just Bruce. Oh shit, okay. You just Bruce Lee that motherfucker. That just one. His insides just exploded out of him. I one inch punched that dude. Alright, I am going to- I actually want to watch that again after, like, <laughs> after this is done, because that was just impressive. I know. Oh god, no! That was not so impressive. No, that was just dumb. <laughs> Shut your face. Oh, Jamie. I love you too. You and I both know that I can't do that. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, ignite. Interact. And yes, we have made a settlement. Now cook. Yes, cook all the flesh. I was going to say meth, but sure. Yes, so now this like place medieval is medieval Heisenberg. Awesome. So now we have colonized this place for the English. That is the not French. the English flag. It Sorry, that's not the British flag. Cool. Uh, someone captured your seas enemy Ow. cargo. Wow, that's a lot of cargo. Yeah. And that's a lot of money we made. Eh. You could make. Yeah, you could make more. Uh, well, I made like half of that in the last week. Remember. That's true. And okay, so now. Then again, you made it course of like 20 minutes. Alright, uh, let's make, let's go to the tavern so you can make a bar fight. <laughs> I, yes. I have, uh, how is that locked? How do you unlock it? Uh, we are going to unlock it. No, you unlock it with a bar fight, don't you? Yeah, I think so. So, why don't we just go in there and you yes. can take the rain, sir. And by the way, he can roll my, he can roll his time better than I can, so. Oh, that is not a bar fight! Whoops. It was a mistake, I swear. Honest mistake. <laughs> Get in there before you die. Oh no, gotta be anonymous. Oh, okay. That's an issue. So you know how Templars are kind of the dicks in the Assassin's Creed universe? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe they're on like, the right side for a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not gonna last long. Oh no. 
This one is getting good. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> yeah, you did the you did the shove again. Oh come on! Come on! You haven't even gone to the fight yet. Yeah. Yep, you're Oh what? Yep, yep. Damn it! <laughs> Do you want me to I just, need no Do you want me to just win Saints no. Row for you? Do you want me to just win Saints Row so you can just go bananas? Oh my go banana nut balls in that game. <laughs> I had to go banana nut balls or I go really, really like O C D like I cannot rest until I have every single orb. <laughs> I usually just go in there. I just usually just use all my powers to jump all around and just listen to the rap station. I don't really listen to stations. I do. It's because you are a weirdo. Because I like to listen to music when I play. I like to listen to the soundtrack of my life. I, I just tend to which listen is like, to Let's Play. Which is like, you got... I just like, like listening to You oh, Got The Touch. Today. <laughs> you got the touch! You got, you got the, the power! I just jumped over the entrance, didn't I? You just jumped over that place, you dumbass! Shut your mouth! Okay. Um. Okay, sassy black woman. <laughs> Alright, I think here is where you actually do get to do a bar fight. But yeah, no, I, 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 I just tend to watch you, Let's Plays like today. I think you go to the counter, I believe. Today I was playing Saints Row 4. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, I was talking to you earlier. Yeah. Uh, today I was playing Saints Row 4 and, um... Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yep. You going? You going to take that? You going to take that? Yeah, you going to take that, boy? Nope. I'm not playing Saints Row Four. You get to beat up four guys now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, that would be more effective. I if we could cannot see, what was see going a on. damn thing that's going on. <laughs> yeah, that would be more effective if we could actually see what was going on. Oh shit. It's really hard when all you got these four guys ganging up on you. Cause I remember one, I remember once that I had like all these guys ganging up on me, and I was on like just a slither of health, and I managed to get them all like one beat down at a time. Like, how, how the hell did I manage to do that? That's kind of the thing with this game, anyway. And stuff like uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum, where you actually are on like your lowest point of health, and yet you somehow managed to get back on top. You, sorry, are you just doing like attack? And nothing else. What? Ooh, you curved in the throat. You curved stomp him in the throat. Oh yeah. Well, that's not a curved stomp, but close enough. But yeah, I was playing Saint Sir Four. And, and now um, the bar is yours. And yes, that is how this works. <laughs> yes. And um. Yes. And, and I was and I was watching uh, PewDiePie actually. Okay. Playing this fucking like. Yeah, you don't need him, crew. We're good. Oh, okay. Playing this really depressing ass game. Which one was it? Uh, it's a game called, uh, um, Corpse Party. Oh, never heard of that one. Yeah, no, it's like, um, think of like Pokemon graphics, mm -hmm. but it's a horror game. Huh. Okay. Um, the basis of it is these kids get sent, these kids are at their school after school, it's a Japanese game, so like there's there's a lot of stuff that like people who watch anime will be familiar with. Uh, you want me to just keep going while you explain? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And pe people who like have lived in Japan or are Japanese will probably understand a lot more of like the cultural sort of like goings on. Like uh, PewDiePie, PewDiePie says at one point in one of the episodes of it, in one of the episodes that he he has playing it uh, that. Uh, one one of the things that he didn't notice that people told him is that uh, apparently in Japan uh, there's a thing uh, about committing suicide where you take off your shoes before you commit suicide. Um, and there's there's a lot of shoes just sitting around the floor, and okay. it's something that like if, if you weren't aware of some, of like something that just like cultural like uh, this is what PewDiePie said. I, I have no idea if it's actually true, but like as an example, if it, if it is true, um, it's something <laughs> that it's something that a Japanese person would pick up on and would understand, but like a Western person, like English or American or Australian person, wouldn't really understand that. Wouldn't really understand without somebody telling them. Um, like it's still really good. Like oh, there's this abs. And, like 
if any of you plan on actually playing this game, or want to play this game, or have heard of this game and thought, I might play that, I am going to spoiler a bit here. Um, uh, go ahead. Um, the, yeah, just the, the skip over like two minutes and then yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, half two minutes. There's, there's a bit where uh, this girl, there are these two girls, Naomi and uh, uh, and Seiko. And um, Seiko is like being really happy and upbeat um, and like trying to keep it all, trying to keep them together because they've gone from their school into this like nightmare realm ish sort of thing that was once their school. Um, and it turns out they're in some sort of like hellish nexus where there's, there's like a bunch of worlds that are just sort of together. Uh, and Naomi and Seiko uh, wake up and they're together. And so they're, they're walking around together and they're trying to solve things together. And Naomi, because she's getting really stressed out and really pissed off and it's, you know, she's, there's like ghosts and like, she's getting affected by the evil of the place. Uh, she gets really angry at Seiko because Seiko is just so happy. And so she basically says at one point, oh, I think we should, you know, I think that we should go on, that we should search this place uh, by ourselves instead of together. And Seiko, like, really gets depressed and is like, okay. Um, and then Naomi, a few minutes later, comes across Seiko trying to hang herself in a bathroom. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's and she tr hardcore. And you try to save her by, like, getting a bucket and putting it on the floor and trying to, like, stand on it and untie the rope, but you can't do it in time and Seiko dies. Wow. And it's, like, it's, like, poke. It's, like, the same sort of graphics as Pokemon where it's, like, little pixelated figures. And you're going around like, oh, like a fairly simplistic environment where it's a lot of like just tiling and textures, um, but it's just it's like a much darker sort of color palette than Pokemon is. Mm. Um, Doesn't that surprise me? Yeah, no. It re it really sets the tone. There's like blood, and it really messes around with time because okay. the the idea of it is that there this nexus that they're in is like a combination of a bunch of different worlds but also like a bunch of different times and it's always a school it's not always the same school yeah, well, I'm gonna leave it. but it's always a school um, that they're in at least as far as I've seen um, and it's like the way it plays it it's Different characters and different characters are in different time periods. So, like some people in the f some people, like the the first characters that are played, see stuff that when you let when you play when the later characters are being played, they will act through stuff that like makes the stuff that is there for the characters who are played before to see. So, like it doesn't play in unnecessarily. Hi, come in. Oh. Come in! Shit, we Come in, oh, evil woman. What up? I am being... Do you get discounts at TGI now? Yes, I do. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's That seems like a dangerous area to go. <laughs> that is I not... I have a plan, so... No, you don't. You have no plans. Several plan. plants. Why is the light on? We're actually making a video. Mm. Oh, can I be in it? Yeah, sure. Come over. Uh, yeah, come on. This is my sister, everybody. Oh, oh this, is, actually... this, this, this is Sophie. Hello. Wait, what? What are you filming? Oh my god, hi. This is gonna be on YouTube. Right You're gonna be famous. Am I gonna be famous? So famous. So famous. So famous. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Enjoy Sophie. Oh oh. They're making oh. YouTube video. And now Sophie leaves. <laughs> oh shit. Area is not, and now I'm on the edge of the world. But yes, very depressing game. But I really want to play it now because I I I'm I'm a big fan of horror games that don't work on jump scares. Horror games kind of like Amnesia, like, oh, I, lo I love Amnesia um, so much. Go to New York, yes. Thank have have you I played Amnesia? Uh, no, I have not. We, we, we should play Amnesia, because I've played Amnesia, and I, I, jump scares don't really, don't, jump scares don't, like, barely even start on me. They don't do okay. anything for me, but Amnesia, the mindset that it puts you in, <laughs> I can get into it really easily, <laughs> and it's like... really great. Because I like you, I like getting fear as the emotional high. But because a lot of stuff nowadays uh, uses jump scares to do. I that. love how we're talking about like fear and paranoia and suicide oh, yeah. while the, all these sea shanties are going on. Well, I can, sh oh, I can show you, I can oh, show you fear and death oh, in Assassin's Creed. Oh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh. 
Hey guys, um, sorry that the video cut out there. I pretty pretty much you didn't miss anything. You spent we pretty much just spent the entire time trying to figure out why um, the screen froze up because I couldn't get out of the saving screen and it's wouldn't be a fun experience to put into the let's play. So I had to cut it short there, but um, I did enjoy doing this let's play and so did Simon. He's lies, yeah. lies and slander, slander I say. Yes, that's why you did so much with it. Uh, anyway, there's gonna be more. Um, there's gonna be more of this stuff soon, and there's gonna be more media dust stuff. So um, keep an eye out, and we will hope. I'll hopefully see you next time.